lead code problem 973 k closest point to origin hey everyone this is keystrokes i'm a senior software engineer at one of the fangs and i like to make videos on lead code problems and programming puzzles and anything and everything on computer science today we'll take a look at lead codes problem 973 which is called k closest point to origin and it's a medium difficulty problem we will discuss three solutions to the problem the first one will be using a simple sorting the second one will use priority queue and the third one will optimize the priority queue approach. Okay, so let's take a look at the problem statement. We are given an array of points where each point has XY coordinate because they are on the XY plane and we are given an integer K. Our goal is to find K points that are closest to the origin and the distance between two points on the XY plane is a Euclidean distance which can be computed in this way. So let's take a look at the first example. We are given two points, 1, 3, minus 2, and 2. And here it says the distance between 1, 3, and origin is square root of 10. And the distance between minus 2 and 2 and the origin is square root of 8. And the value of k is 1. So we just need one point that's closest to the origin from this list. And in this case, square root of 8 is smaller than square root of 10. So minus 2, 2 is the answer because that's closest to the origin. Now in the next example, we have been given three points and the value of k is 2. In this case, if we again calculate the distances, like in the previous example, the answer we should get is 3, 3 and minus 2, 4. Furthermore, here it says that if we swap the answers, then that's acceptable as well. So let's see everything that we need to know to solve this problem. We need to know some basic programming concepts, like how to run a for loop. And then as for data structures, you need to know how to operate on arrays, primarily to work on the points array that we're given to us and to return back the responses. And you should also know how to use priority queue if you want to use the queue based solution. So let's take a look at the most simple solution that we can use here, which is sorting. So here I have few points, minus two comma four, three comma three and five comma minus one. And I've already calculated the Euclidean distance for each of these points from the origin. And Euclidean distance basically is x square plus y square all under square root when we are computing distance from the origin. Now to solve this problem, one of the simplest solution is just to sort these coordinates based on the Euclidean distance. And we don't need the exact Euclidean distance because we can simply ignore this square root and just keep x square plus y square when comparing them. So if we give these three points to a sorting function, which can compute the Euclidean distance without the square root and use that to sort them. So in this case, without the square root, the value will be 20, which is 4 square plus 2 square. This will be 18, which is 3 square plus 3 square. And then 1 square plus 5 square, which gives us 26. Now, if we sort them, the points basically become 3 comma 3, then minus 2 comma 4, and then 5 comma minus 1, which is in the ascending order. And if we had to pick top two coordinates from this, we'll just extract these two values and that will be our answer. Okay, so here's the pseudocode of the solution that we just discussed. We basically have points as the input, which is an array of x, y points. Then we have k as the integer. And this is the number of points that we need to return, which are closest to the origin. And all we need to do is to sort the points array and then return k points from the sorted array. It's as simple as that. So let's jump into our IDE and code this out. Okay, so here we have lead code and this is the functional signature that we are working with. So let's copy this and go over to IntelliJ and paste this right here. So we are given a bunch of points and a variable k and we need to return k points from this list of points that are closest to the origin. And the distance to the origin will be the Euclidean distance. So first let's create a method which will give us the Euclidean distance. Let's call it Euclidean distance and we can pass in a point to it. So passing point and we can basically return point zero times point zero plus point one times point one. Now for the actual Euclidean distance, we'll have to square root this, but for our problem, it doesn't matter because we don't exactly need the Euclidean distance. Rather, we use this value to compare it with other points. So we don't need to square root this and it saves some computation. So we can make this very simple. All we need to do is arrays dot sort and we can pass in all the points to it and then let's give it a comparing function which takes in two points p1 p2 and we can simply compute the euclidean distance for point p1 and subtract it from point p2 and this should sort the points correctly based on the comparison function that we just created 
and then all we have to do is return arrays dot we just copy a range of k points from this points array starting from the zeroth index all the way to the kth index and that's all we have to write for this program so here i have a main class we have a bunch of test cases to find so let's run this on the solution that we just wrote and it says we have all the correct answers so let's copy this program and run this on lead code and see how it performs so pasting this here and running it for the base cases first we see that it passed so now let's submit it for the actual test cases and see if it passes for all of the test cases in here and yes our solution was accepted next let's see how we can use priority queue to write a fancier solution we can use priority queue to solve this problem let's say we are given these three coordinates minus two four three comma three five and minus one and these are the euclidean distances then we'll start by inserting this first node minus two comma four the comparator that we can give to the priority queue can be this formula which calculates the Euclidean distance from origin for a given point. So when we insert minus two, four to a priority queue, that will be the only point that we have in the priority queue. So there's nothing to do there really. But when we go to insert three comma three, it will calculate the Euclidean distance for minus two, four and three comma three. And I forgot to put the square root here, which we won't use because it doesn't really add much value to us when we are comparing the two coordinates in this case. So in this case, we'll just keep this as 20, keep this as 18 and keep this as 26. So for minus four and two, when we insert three comma three, it takes a look at its distance. For this, this is 20. And for three comma three, it's 18. And because 18 is smaller than 20, it adds it to the front of the queue, which has a distance of 18. Now, when we add the next one, which is five comma minus one, it looks at its distance, which is 26. And it adds it at the appropriate position in the priority queue, which is towards the end. So it puts it at the end, which is five comma minus one with a distance of 26. Now, once we have this priority queue created, which is sorted based on the Euclidean distance, all we have to do is extract K points from it. So if we had two as the K points, we'll extract three comma three and minus two comma four, and that will be our answer. So here's the pseudocode on how to use priority queue to solve this problem. We are given points as the input array of XY points. And then we have the number K which is the number of points we need to return that are closest to the origin. Now, the first thing we do is to create a comparator, which basically uses the Euclidean distance to compare points so that the closer points are added to the front of the queue. Then we create a new priority queue where we use this comparator as our comparing function. Now, for each of the points in the points that are given to us, we add the point to the queue. Now, as we add the points to our queue, the priority queue will be using the comparator and keep the closer points to the origin towards the front of the queue. Now we initialize a new array of dimension k by two because k is the number of points we need to return and each point has two values to it, which is the x and y coordinate. Then we run a loop from zero to k minus one, basically k times, and then we just get the value from our queue and add it to our result. Now this result should have the k closest point because the queue kept the closest point to the front of the queue. After this loop is done, the result now has all the k closest points that we wanted and then we can simply return it from our function. Okay, so I think we can jump into our IDE and code it out. But before that, if you have been liking the explanation so far, then please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and you can show me your support by buying me some coffee. You can also get in touch with me and set up one-on-ones where I can help you learn how to code, help you with interview preparations and be a consultant on your project ideas and any execution and really help you out with anything and everything about computer science. So please find the link to this form in the description and feel free to reach out to me. So let's jump into our IDE and code the solution out. Okay, so here we have lead code and this is the function signature that we have to work with. So I'll copy this and go over to our IntelliJ and paste it right here. So we are given these many points and we need to find K points that are closest to the origin and the distance that we'll be computing is the Euclidean distance. So let me paste a function that calculates the Euclidean distance. And that's basically square of the X coordinate and square of the Y coordinate. Ideally, we should square root as well, but for our case, we don't need it because we are just using this distance for comparison purpose only. So for the priority queue solution, let's first create a priority queue and it will store values of type integer array, which is basically a pair of integers for our case and let's call it priority queue and we can do new priority queue and in here let's give it a comparing function that it will use to sort the points for that we can do comparator and use the comparing function and pass the 
Euclidean distance, that's the function that we created down here. So it will basically pass each point to this and then use the value that it's returning, which is the distance from the origin to see where it should be in the priority queue. Now let's run through each of the points we have. So integer point of the points and we'll add it to our priority queue. We can do offer and then the point. Now after this loop, all of the points should be added to the priority queue in the right order. That is point that's closest to the origin in the beginning of the queue and the farthest points towards the end of the queue. Now let's create our array that will return back. Let's call it result. Let's make it new int. And because we have K points, we'll have K rows. And this will basically be two because we have a pair of X and Y coordinates here. Now let's run a for loop. Let's call it loop, which runs all the way until K. And in here, we'll just update our result and we'll add the coordinate to the loop, which we can pull from our queue. So priority queue dot pull, and this should populate our result array. So in the end, let's just return result and that should be all. So I have a main class here, which has some of the base cases defined from lead code. So let's run these base cases against our solution. So executing this, we see we get correct answers for our base cases. So copying this onto lead code and see how it performs. So replacing this here and now let's run it for the base cases first and the base cases pass. Now let's submit this to run it for the actual test cases. And yes, our solution was accepted. So we can use priority queue, but we can optimize it. Let's see how we can do that. Now there's an optimization that we can add to the priority queues. Now let's say if our competitor function prioritizes values so that the points that are furthest away are in the front of the queue. So in that case, when we add minus two comma four to our priority queue, there is no other point. So it just adds it to it. And the distance if we know here is 20. And also let's assume that the value of K is two. That is we want two closest points from the origin. Now, when we insert three comma three, we see that the Euclidean distance without the square root is 18. And when we try to insert that in the priority queue, it moves it towards the end because this point here has a distance of 20, which is greater than 18. So three comma three gets added here with a distance of 18. Now, when we add five comma minus one to this priority queue, it looks at its distance, which is 26. And that's the largest distance in the priority queue. So it adds it to the front. Now, every time we add to the priority queue, we should check its size. If the size of the priority queue is greater than K, then we should start pulling the queue and start trimming things from the front. So in this case, the size of the queue is three, which is greater than two. So we trim the values from the front. So we basically do a queue.pull, which will take out this five comma minus one. And all we are left with are K values, which have the smallest distance from the origin. And we can keep doing that as more points get added to it. And every time we do that, the point in the front of the queue gets cleared. And then our queue has a size of K, which are the closest point to the origin. Okay, so here's the pseudocode on how to use the optimized priority queue method to solve this problem. We're given a list of points, which is an array of X, Y coordinates. Then we're given a number K, which is the number of points that we need that are closest to the origin. Now we create a comparator which uses the Euclidean distance to compare points so that the closer points get added towards the end of the list. That is in the front of the list, we have distances that are farthest away. Now we create a new priority queue and we use this comparator that we created above as our comparing function. Now for each of the points in the points array that were given to us, we add it to the queue. Now, as the points are added to the queue, the closer points are added towards the end and the farther points are added towards the front of the queue. Now, if the queue size becomes greater than K, then we just trim off all the excess value that we have. And we do that by simply running queue.pole, which takes the front of the queue and it just removes it from the queue. And we don't need that value because we already have K values that are closer to the origin and this extra value is the farthest among all of these k plus one values. Now, after this for loop is done and all the points are processed, our queue contains only k values, which are closest to the origin. Now we create a new results array with a dimension of k because we need to store k points and each point has two values. So the second dimension becomes two. Then we run a loop from zero to k minus one, that is k times. And then we just add everything from our queue to the result array and then return it back. So let's jump into our IDE and implement this optimized priority queue solution. So let's see how we can optimize the priority queue solution that we have here. So right now we are comparing by using the Euclidean distance function, which gives us the distance from the origin. And based on this, the closest points 
are in the front of the queue and the farthest points are towards the end of the queue. What if we reverse it? And to reverse it, we can simply do a multiplication with minus one. So minus one times the Euclidean distance of the point that we are working on. Now, the farthest point will be in the front of the queue and the closest point will be towards the end of the queue. Now, as we iterate through our points and add it to the queue, this queue keeps increasing. Now, there will be a point when the size of the queue will be greater than K. So let's say if we had point P1, P2, P3, and P4, and the value of K was, let's say four. So when we process the fifth point, P5, we can check the length of the queue. And if it's more than four, then we can simply remove the point that's farthest from the origin. Because amongst these five points, we only need four points, which are closest to the origin. So let's say that point was P1. So if this was the front of the queue, we'll just take this point out. And now when we get the next point, let's say P6, and it gets added somewhere here in the middle, let's say P6. Now again, we know that P2 is furthest away from the origin, so we can just trim this off. So every time we add something to our queue, we can check the length of it. So we can do priority queue dot size. And if it's greater than K, then we can just trim off a point from the front. And we can do that by doing priority queue dot pole. So this ensures that every time we add a point to the queue, our queue size is at most K. And once we are done with this loop, once all the points are processed, this priority queue will only have at most K points that are closest to the origin. And let's run our base case against this solution again and see if it still works. And yes, we still get the correct answers. So let's copy the solution onto lead code and see if it works. So copying all of this, going over to lead code and pasting it right here. Let's run it for the base cases first. And yes, the base cases were accepted. So let's submit this and run it against all the other test cases. And yes, this was accepted as the solution as well. Okay, so that's all I had for this video. If the explanations helped you, then please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And you can follow me on Twitter and you can show me your support by buying me some coffee. And please feel free to reach out to me if you're interested in any one-on-ones with me. I'm working on more videos and they should be coming out soon. In the meantime, please check out this video on your screen. You might have fun solving this problem. Well, thank you so much for joining in. I'll see you next time.